This Dell Optiplex 9020 came without a hard drive and we're going to be using it for gaming. So we're going to be putting a solid state drive in it. I've already attached the solid state drive to a solid state drive caddy with these four screws. First step is to remove the side panel. As you can see, there's no hard drive in this computer. You just have some loose cords, and that's no good. You can't use a computer with nothing attached to these puppies. Dell is great for indicating where you can touch inside a computer. The blue is for touching. So first, we're going to remove the DVD drive by firmly grasping on this little blue rectangle. Lift up. Golly, that is in there. Okay. Lift up, pull out. We actually don't need to unplug it because all we have to do is get underneath. So we're going to set that aside carefully. There we go, that was careful. All right, the next step is to unlock the hard drive caddy, lift it up. On this side, it will hinge up and remove itself easily. Now you've got the spinning hard drive caddy inside of here. We just need to attach the solid state drive caddy to that. That is done by inserting these little metal pins inside these little holes. This blue plastic is very flexible, so that is easy peasy. And there we go. Now we insert it back in here. Boom, now we have a solid state drive. Now when you're putting this back in, you're not going to want to plug these in until it's back in place. I learned that the hard way. When you, plug it, when you plug those things in, it can't hinge properly. And now all that's left is to plug these back in. Feed them right through there. And there's one. And two. And there you go. Now we put the DVD drive back on. Slides in just like that. And then you push it over. And it's in. And there you have it. Now you have an SSD in your computer. Pop the lid back on. And we're done. Now that you can see the computer's guts, you're going to want to take the... And what you're going to want to do is put your head right in the way of the camera. 